It's a crazy world we live in where the top two players in most people's top five in the NBA are also the top two most hated players in the NBA. What's going on, FOMO fam? It's your boy, Chris, but you can also find me over on my YouTube channel, CK2K, but make sure you subscribe right here, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to like this video. Now, I'm probably one of the few Knicks fans that doesn't actually hate LeBron James. Hell, I don't really hate any of the players in the league right now. Not since Paul Pierce. Hell, I don't even like his commentating. That being said, I've always believed that regardless of how you may feel about some of these guys I'm about to list, you got to respect their abilities and the impact they bring on and off the court. Or you can just continue to be a hater and completely ignore everything I just said and hate away. SportsInsider.com analyzed more than 100,000 tweets about two weeks after the NBA Finals to gather information on who the most hated players are around the United States. To no one's surprise, LeBron James and Kevin Durant topped that list. Here's the graphic and as you can see, there's a lot of LeBron and a lot of Kevin Durant. There's also the obvious hate for Anthony Davis down south and the Kyrie Irving hate over by Maine and Massachusetts. Okay, okay, let's break this down for a second before we move on. Three questions I got. One, what's Utah's beef with James Harden? I was wholeheartedly expecting that one to be Russell Westbrook, but I, I guess not. And also number two, the fact that the entirety of California still hates LeBron James, even though he's playing for America's team, the Los Angeles Lakers, proves to me even more how fake most Laker fans can be. And number three, Hawaii. The hell did Kevin Durant do to y'all, man? If you step back and think about it, it does make sense why two of the best players in the NBA would garner the most amount of hate. Look at LeBron's situation ever since the decision. LeBron has no longer been looked at as America's sweetheart. He's continuously bashed in social media for a slew of random things, from how he complains about fouls like the rest of the NBA, to Father Tom snatching his hairline away and magically giving it back. Either way, LeBron has had this amount of negativity surrounding him by fans for quite some time now. As for Kevin Durant, his situation is very similar but also self-inflicted in some cases. It all stemmed from the moment he decided to leave the Oklahoma City Thunder to join the Golden State Warriors a few months after losing a 3-1 lead to the same team. Let's also not forget the team was 73-9 that same year without KD's help and it was no secret that once he joined there would be no stopping them and well, there wasn't. This sparked all kinds of backlash, calling KD soft and a snake. This led to KD attempting to defend himself by creating burner accounts to fight back some of the internet hate until he was caught. Well, here we are in 2019, and Kevin Durant, you're about to be a free agent, and the best way that I can see you shaking off all this hate is if you join the up-and-coming Knicks this Sunday. Now, there was another Warriors player that wasn't on this list, but according to Matt Barnes, he should have been. That player was Steph Curry. Despite all the accolades and his smiley persona that parents and kids alike all love, fellow NBA athletes and some fans aren't a fan of the Warriors superstar. For example, in game four of the NBA Finals, he played without KD or Klay Thompson. He dropped almost 50 points in a blowout loss, and while everyone praised him, there were players and some fans who ridiculed the narrative around him compared to LeBron James. Former Warrior Matt Barnes went on the jump to explain why he believed players don't like Steph. He said this, he came in and destroyed record books, won championships, beat LeBron. He's done a lot of things that probably angered other players and other fans. That's why I don't think he gets the respect he deserves. He's obviously the greatest shooter to ever play the game and I can see people being bitter from that. Not to mention the whole light skin thing and people have problems with that. Like I said, he's a perfect example of what the NBA needs to be represented as and people don't like that either. Most of the time when people are so good or something so perfect, people don't like that and that's exactly what you get with Steph. He's not wrong, and especially for those other people who don't hate LeBron, believe that the two are held under different standards and it makes no sense. So what do you guys think? Why are Kevin Durant and LeBron James so hated? And do you believe Steph is held at a higher standard than other players? Also, who's a player that you absolutely hate or hated? Let me know in the comments below. It's been your boy Chris, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.